Hello, it's got a ukulele.com uh, review day. Uh, it's a brand that I've liked for many years. One of the first instruments I ever reviewed was made by this brand. This brand is called Magic Fluke. They're from Sheffield, Massachusetts in the USA. Um, they make the fleas, they make the flukes, and they also make a couple of banjos. And quite some years ago now, I reviewed their uh, Firefly Soprano, um, which is a little banjo, little simple banjo. I really liked, um, really liked a lot. And here we are five years later, and they've released this one, which is their tenor version, which is which looks quite a bit different. If you go back and look at my review, the links are in the on the website of the original Firefly. This looks quite a bit different, and it looks different because of the way this is constructed. Because one of the criticisms of the original Firefly was that you couldn't adjust the tension on the drum head; it was just literally a hand drum with a neck bolted on. And they've claimed to have done that now. Now you look at this and think, well, how is that adjustable? Because unlike a normal banjo, there's no tension hooks around here where, that you normally adjust. And the answer is, is that it's all kind of been done in reverse. There's the tone ring, and that tone ring attaches through to these bolts, which are adjustable with an Allen key. There's 10 of those, and that adjusts, adjusts the head. It also allows you to take the head off and change it if you split it, which is another criticism of the original. Um, that's really good. This pot is, it's an eight inch head in a sort of nine and a half inch rim uh, pot. And the pot is uh, made of maple ply, as you can see, strips of ply here, and ply on the top. And it's all finished in a really nice, smooth satin. It's absolutely beautiful. Build, can, build quality of this, as with all fluke, uh, magic fluke instruments, I knew was gonna be good. This is impeccable, they're always impeccable. Uh, and as the distributor said to me, he rarely ever has to do any adjustment to them before he sends them out because they're always that good. So we've got a single piece maple neck with a pole that runs all the way through. That's the, the Firefly logo and that's bolted down to the tailpiece down here and that is adjustable so you can change the action of the neck like this. That's really good. Um, chromed tailpiece, standard banjo uh, set it yourself, three footed bridge. Uh, and it's all really, really nice. As I say, maple neck, single piece. That's topped with another piece, I think, of dark maple. And it gives it a real pearl look. I love pearl necks like that. I think the whole thing looks great. Um, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 nickel silver frets down to the top of the pot. Uh, position markers at 3, 5, 7, 10, 12 and 15 sadly not repeated on the side that's a shame uh what looks like an ebony nut and we've also got a zero fret here which is a not a playable fret but it basically dictates the string break point uh, and height up here it's great for good intonation typical uh magic fluke headstock you either love it or hate it i love it they are standard grover pegs they're not the best pegs in the world they do offer a peg head uh, upgrade, or you could also upgrade them yourself because I've upgraded the head uh, tuners on these before. Uh, they're a straight swap with Grover 4s or 6s. And the Dario Nile Gut Strings, and that all comes in at about three eight nine dollars or about 350 quid. And some, people, some people may gasp and say, well, that's expensive. No, it's not. Uh, for a banjo, the Deering tenor is about $200 more than this. This is exactly the same price as the Duke 10 um, tenor banjo that I, I reviewed fairly recently and I really liked. So, you know, it seems to be right on the money for the for the price. Um, they do some extras, like they'll, they'll do your pickup. They do a gig bag like this, but that's about $58 extra, which is a shame. I think they should have thrown that in. Um, but on the whole, it is good value. It's impeccably well made. It just feels so nice in the hands. It's light. It's two pounds. It's, the, it's a lot lighter than the Deering. It's the same weight as the Duke 10, uh, and that's a good thing. It's not as light as the original Firefly, but it's still light. Um, but what it's got, it's got sound and punch, <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. Okay, it's not right up there with a 10 inch head top banjololi like the deer in good time, but it's really not bad. Um, let's have a play. I hope this doesn't blow the microphone.
that's a lot of fun. What I really like about it, and I've commented on this before, and it's what's quite common with banjos, is you can get this echoey sound, like ghost notes, sort of a vibration sound. The Deering did it, the Duke 10 does it, this doesn't. Now the answer to that is normally to put a cloth inside there underneath the pole piece. Yeah, that works. But this doesn't have the problem to start with. Everything is clear and precise. Sharp. No, no ghost note. Pick, picked his... I like everything about this. Um, this is this this now tops the Duke Ten. I think they're very very close. Same money, but I'll, I'll absolutely love it. Uh, typical Magic Flute quality, all made in the USA. This comes absolutely highly recommended from me. I absolutely love it. Uh, I don't want this to go back, but thanks very much to Mark. Pew at Stones Music in the UK, who are the UK distributor for Magic Fluke, uh, for arranging me the loan of this one. Uh, the Magic Fluke Tanner Firefly. Highly, highly recommended. Love it. <laughs>